this is Stella Amson for CHSTV, and I am back in action as your pre-game host. Um, I mean necessarily when the girls' varsity, when I say that the girls' varsity lacrosse team has had an amazing season with a record of 14 to 3. The team is led by 11 seniors, eight of which are committed to playing lacrosse in college, and they have redeemed their position as a formidable Division I opponent. The Lions are currently sixth in the MIAA's power rankings and won their Merrimack Valley Conference 10 to 9 against Cap Central Catholic, which we will be talking about later. One of the all-star players for the Chelmsford Lions girls lacrosse team is Tasia Bell. Tasia has had a fantastic season. I know her personally, and let me just say that she's a talented person on and off the field. Now let's take it to our reporter, Max Plotnick, to hear more from her. Thanks, Stella. Uh, I'm Max Plotnick with CHS-TV. I'm here now with Tasia Bell, um, who plays midfield. Uh, so, tell me, uh, what is, how does it feel being captain uh, your junior year? I think being a captain my junior year is very... I think motivating, especially because we have a lot of new incoming freshmen and incoming sophomores, and I think it's like they get to see someone a little closer in their old age, because, especially because we have 11 seniors, so it's like they're all great leaders, and it's like they have a junior who they can like kind of go to things a little more like personal and just being able to talk to them, I think that's really going to help us out, especially next year after we lose them. Although it's unfortunate that we're losing some of our great seniors, um, I did want to ask, um, so to that um, uh, lessons from the seniors as well as lessons maybe you've learned from uh, your younger peers, are, uh, what are some of the lessons that you've like learned throughout, the, throughout this uh, season? I think with my fellow captains, Tori and Amelia, they're great leaders. They really motivated us on and off the field. So some things we learn is even through like some really tough losses, we played great teams like NDA and um, Central, even though we just beat Central again. I think it's just really important that like it's okay to lose. It's okay. It's just how we like learn from those games and react to them and how we just adjust throughout our season. I like that. And to that extent, um, with the like lessons that you've learned from the losses and the wins, um, the times that you faced Carlisle, uh, what are some of the things that you've like found worked against them? What didn't? And um, what are some of the things that you're gonna like employ against them in this up upcoming uh, match? So last year we did play Conquer Carlisle, we did lose, but I think coming into this game we've always said take it one game at a time. So we're gonna really focus on um, winning our draws today, tomorrow. Um, winning our draws and just really just slowing the ball down, moving the ball, really just getting everything around and really running our plays. Like we kind of struggle when we don't settle the ball and we're just running back and forth. Like as a midfielder, you got to have to go back, forth, back, forth. But if we really just settle the ball, play our defense, which is one of the strongest parts of our team, and then play our offense, and then it should all go together. Our coach likes to say if we play a full 50 minutes, we should really have the outcome we want. All right, so a full 50 minutes and strong defense. Um, I'm sure I missed a bunch there, and unfortunately I'm not very experienced with uh, when it comes to um, this sport, but I, I hope it goes well, and I think you guys are going to actually crush it. Thank you. And uh, this is Max Plotnick with CHSTV. Back to you. Thank you so much for talking with us, Tasia, and congratulations on being a captain in your junior year. Your contributions the team have not gone unnoticed and we hope that your t that your game today against Concord Kyle Lyle goes well. Tasia mentioned this briefly but the girls had an incredible game against Central Catholic this Monday when they won three winning goals in the last six minutes of the game. The team was trailing by two goals with five minutes and 40 seconds left and then ran out then ran out the clock in the final three minutes to come away with a 10 to 9 win over their league rival Central Catholic. The Lions also captured their NBC Division I league title, finishing with a perfect 13-0 mark. In an interview with the Boston Globe, head coach Ashley Rokas said, We had a lot of injuries and an off year last year, but I think we're back. We have a team full of 11 seniors, and they are out there to, to fight and play for their teammates who were out, which means teammates who have injuries. The next person, Max was able to interview is Madeline Dunbar, who plays goalie for our varsity girls lacrosse team. Like Tasia, Madeline has had a fantastic season and has allowed in less than 10 goals in all but two games thus far. Let's take it back to Max to hear more from her. I'm joined here now with Madeline Dunbar, who plays goalie for CHS. Um, now, how does it feel being uh, champions uh, your senior year? Um, it's really nice because I know how hard we've worked. Like even after last year, we weren't like super proud of like our performance with within the MVC. So we're really happy to like battle back this year and feel like this is the year that we want to win it all and do everything that we can. So we, seeing how much we've worked so hard in everything we've done in the off season, off season and this season, um, it feels really rewarding and like proud of this team and happy to be a part of it. 
Yeah, I know. I know. Per, I know that there was some struggles and uh, last year, and there was the, definitely some victories. And but through 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 and through, you guys fought through it, um, did your best. And this year, you guys are showing the results for sure. Um, and to that extent, um, I know that you know some things went wrong, some things went right. Um, what were the things you found right? Like, what are you guys going to use against uh, Conquer Carlisle in this upcoming game? Well, so we've had to um, figure out like where people fit after not having Ramore and Amelia for the past game. Um, so we've just kind of been like switching around our defense, finding where people work at like the midfield and defense. And um, I think it's just like comes with a lot of our communication and working hard. Um, we've been looking into like things that have worked against other teams and like what we can fix our like defensively that helps us keep the other team out of our zone and everything. So I think like for this game specifically, we're working hard on communicating and keeping our defense like on top notch like always and um, making sure our offense stays together and works as a team and just score some goals and keep them out. Yeah, I know, I know you guys have a very strong defense. That's one of your biggest strong points. Um, and to, uh, to that extent, um, so we've got a strong defense. As uh, of, cor of course, goalie is you know the heart of the defense. You got to protect the goal. And um, the feelings, that all, everything that's going through your head, uh, all the stuff that's been happening. This is your final game at CHS. Uh, what's going through your head right now? What are you feeling? Um, it's kind of really sad because I do like being part of this program and part of this team. Um, but, I mean, hopefully we'll get a um, game based off, like, our rankings right now at home. But, like, our regular season, like, last home game, like, this is our last official, like, game, like, promise to us. So it's, like, kind of really emotional because I like playing here. And even though I'm playing in college, like, this is where I've grown up. And, like, this is what I've always, like, dreamed of being, like, our senior year, like, working so hard for, like, this moment. So it's kind of a little bit emotional but also, like, a huge motivator for all of us because there's so many seniors on the team and that we just really want to keep doing well and hopefully make it to the state championship and win it. That'd be nice. But um, we just really want to keep working hard. And the seniors care so much about this team and about this program that we want to keep working hard and pursuing it and just hopefully have a huge win at home for the last one at least. Yeah, I know you guys have been really passionate. The whole team's been working really hard on, on you know, to make sure everything's going, everything's going great. And... I think that you guys are absolutely going to crush it, um, and I, we really hope to see you guys again back here um, for another game uh, and hopefully another victory and going to states. And yeah, uh, thank you for uh, talking with talking with us. And uh, yeah, All right, this was um, Max Plotnik with uh, CHS TV. Back to you. Thank you so much, Max, and thank you, Madeline. Madeline mentioned that since it's a lot of the team's senior years, they have really felt motivated to win their games, which I think has what made this year so different from last year, although I definitely hope the team will continue their legacy next year. But with lots of players like Tasia Bell out on the field, the future is looking bright for the Chelmsford Lions. Now, we've talked about girls across seniors, but what about TV seniors? We love our seniors in CHS TV, so here is a hype video with all of our seniors in it showing all of their glory. Emily Allen, CHS TV producer. Jamie Garber, live events producer. Ryan Green, crew. Garrett Kelly, crew. Liz Wood, crew. Now that the seniors are finally out of school, us juniors feel like this, the seniors of the building. I still can't believe that I'm going to be a senior next year and I am very excited for my final year of being your pregame host. So sad. Uh, but make sure to stay tuned this fall and for today's game against Concord Carlisle, now we are going to take it up to the booth. Hello, my name is Bailey Grabiel. Hello, my name is Haley Graville, and I will be your host for today's uh, Chelmsford game. And yeah, we're going to hope for a good turnout tonight. Um, we have three minutes till game time. Captains are talking on the field.
I will be right back when the game is ready to start.
and we're about to get this game started. All right, starting at the draw, we have Jillian Martin, number five. She has had a really good season this year. They just won in VCs. This is Chelmsford's last regular season of the year. We're about to see how the draw goes, hopefully towards us. Carlow passing it down the field. That will be Conquer Carlow's ball. They still continue to go down the field. Carla trying to make their way in the pass. Number 21, Lida. Carly starting with the ball, getting a free shot. And it looks like she will not be taking the shot. That was a good interception. Madeline Dunbar with the receive. She's gonna look to work it out onto the field. The nice catch by number 15, Caroline Pitts. Ava Bellin taking it down the field, hopes to score. Chumsford working it down, passing around the 12. Julian Martin going down. Jillian Martin with at the eight, having a free shot. Conquer Carlo, number 40, Grace Grogan's with the save. Number two, Carly, going, making her way down the field. Oh, 
Oh, I just missed the assist. Amazing save by number 25, Madeline Dunbar. Number six, 20, wait. Ground ball received by number 17, Catherine Craig. Adam Dumbo clearing it out. Field, even Balin with the ball. Number two, Maggie Lober with the ball, passing it to number 12, Catherine Walsh. Conquer Carlisle's ball, passing it down the field, number 12. Number 11 with the ball. Very good defense here. <laughs> Conquer Carl with the free shot. That will be another free shot by number 22, Carly and Much. Conquer Carlo trying to work it through the 12th. And a pass and shot by number 11. Jenna Chase, no. Nope. Charlotte Kelly for Conquer Carlisle. And a goal. Number 11, Charlotte Kelly, assisted by number 22, Carly Much. And we're back at the draw with Jillian Martin. And that will be received by number 17, Catherine Craig, taking it down the field. This will be a free shot by Julian Martin. Chumford's ball. 
Jillian Martin with the ball. Number 12 to Maggie. Maggie shot and score. If I am correct, that is assisted by number 12, Caitlin, Ru Caitlin Walsh, and a goal by Maggie Lower. And we're back to the draw. Jillian Martin. And that will be given to Chumsford. Chumsford goal scored by number two, Maggie Lover. Torrey Postalakis is taking it down the field. And that will be given to Conquer Carlo. Tasia with the interception. Pass to Julian Martin and a score. Here at draw again, Julian Martin. Chelsea goal scored by number five, Julian Martin. And that will be given to Concord Carlo. Trying to pass their way down the field. Number seven, Sarah Fortier, running it down. Number 22, Carly Much with the goal. And we're back at the draw with Julian Martin and Kaylee. And that will be received by number 22, Kaylee Much. working it around the twelve. And that will be a charge and given to Chelmsford. No? No. Guess that was a screen. It will be a free shot by Carly Much.
and saved by Madeline Dunbar. She will now try to clear it out to the field. Cleared out to freshman Ava Boucher. Passed to 15 and given to Juliana Lindsay. Juliana working it down, trying to cut in. Pass to Jillian Martin. Looks for the pass, passed it to 12. Caitlin Walsh and a, another goal for Chancellor. back at the draw with sophomore Jalen Martin. And received by number 22. Defense pushing them out. Hunger Carlisle trying to work it around the 12. And that will be Madeline Dunbar's ball. Cleared out to Victoria. And a ground ball. Received by number 22, Carly. Taken down to the net. And a nice save by Madeline Dunbar. Quickly cleared out, Olivia Hall. And Jill Martin with the ball, taking it down to the net. And that will be a slash. Comfort girls trying to work it around. Number three, Juliana Lenzillo. Jill Martin to live, live to Jill. Julian Martin with the ball, waiting for a cut. Caitlin Walsh with the ball. Backhand to Jillian Martin. Jillian with the shot, but sadly misses. This will still be Chomsford's ball. 
Caitlin Walsh with the ball. Pass to Maggie. Backhand to Jill. Jill to Maggie Lover. Maggie trying to work her way through. And a shot attempt, but taken by number 30, Kaylin Morrissey. Ground ball received by Ava Phelan. Where's the ball? And that will be a dangerous play by number Tasia taking it down the field. Passing it to Caitlin Walsh. Julia is in the room. Liv Hall to Tasia. Um, Tasia to Caitlin. Back to Tasia. for his man down. Until this moment, Maggie Wilber comes into play, tries to work her way down. Pass back to number three, and then number 30. <clears throat> Passing it up the field to number 22. Carl Much. Conquer Carl working it around the 12.
And amazing save by number 25, Malin Dumar. Ball will be received and given to Madeline Dunbar for the clear. Ball taken away by number three from Clark and Carlisle. Number nine working it down the field. Given a number 20 Willow Sear for a free shot. And a beautiful save by Madame Dumbo. Received by 21 in shot. Missed. Madeline Dunbar will look for the clear. Passed out to Victoria's Apocalyptus. Given to Ava, Ava Boucher. And that will be some slashing. Maggie Lober looking to make her way in for the shot. And that will be called for interference and Maggie Lober should have a free shot right here. Pass to Caitlin Walsh and received by number 22. Carly Much for Conquer Carlisle, taking it down the field. Ground ball received by number 24, Megan Fairbank for the shot and score. The ball is taken back to the trawl with Jillian Martin Wolf. And ground ball is received by number 20, McCarthy and Carl. Patriots goal scored by number 21, Lydia Carl. Carly Much taking her way through the center, trying to get a shot off. <laughs> Interference by Lions.
That'll be a free shot taken by number six. Liza Mir. And that will be another interference call. And free shot taken by number 22, Carly Much. Goal scored by number 22, Carly Much. Jillian Martin in hopes to win the draw. And ball received by Curly Much. Patriot goal scored by number 22, Carly Much. call for a free shot by number 20 Willow Sear and a great save by Madeline Dunbar. Rebound picked up by number 22. Passed out. And that will be an interference call on number 14 for a free shot by number 20, Willow Sear. And pass to number 22, saved by Madeline Dunbar. Rebound picked up by 21 and missed. One minute left in the period. Conquer Kyle looking for the open person, hopes to score in this last half. Twenty seconds and number twenty two working your way in and shot and scored. Here at draw, we have Liv Hall in hopes to win the draw for the Chelmsford Lions. And draw picked up by number 20, Willow Sear from Concord Corlow. Tasia Bell with a check and is not in her favor. With only five seconds left. Number 20 is going to try to make her way in. And that is the end of this first half. Lions 3, 
Conquer Coral Isle, number five. back and change it all. I would. I would. I think I'm gonna miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Or maybe it's just a little moment. I could go back and change, I could go back and change it all. If I could go back. I would. But I can't.
and we are back at the draw. Julian Martin pop up and received by Julian Martin. Taking it down the field. And a little trip up. This will be given to number five, Julian Martin for Lions. Number two, Maggie Lober. And a shot and goal. Trump's are looking for a few more goals here in the second, trying to make this game a bit more safe. It's a pretty quick, close game today. It was an amazing shot by Maggie Lober. Back at the draw, Jillian Martin and Carly Much. And received by Conquer Carlisle's Carly Much. In terms of goal scored by number two, Matthew And there's Wilbur. a ground ball. Taja Bell fighting to win this. Pop up and received by number three, Anna Crowley. Given over to number 11. And Conquer Carlisle is now passing around the 12. And an interception by number 14, Ava Balin. Long pass over to number 15, Caroline Pitts, and a slash. That will be handed over to Caroline Pitts. Running up the field, working their way up towards the net. Number five, Julian Martin with the ball. Pass to Caitlin Walsh. Forced out. And that will be given to number 12, Caitlin Walsh, for a free shot. And that will be a save. by number 40, Grace Grogan's goalie for Conquer Coral. Ball is given to number 20, Willow Sear, looking to clear it up the field. Maggie Lober riding the player down the field. Number 22. And ground ball received by Conquer Carlisle, passing it around the 12. Trying to get open. And that will be taken in. Number 22, 
great save by Madeline Dunbar. Number 24, Megan Fairbank. Give it 20. Passing it around the 12. And a missed shot. That will be received by number 21, Lida Carly. Number 22, trying to make her way through. Caroline Pitts, trying to push her way through. Oh, and a hard hit. That will be a free shot by number 22, Carly Much. And she passes it, and sadly they miss. Number 20 passing it, and that is another miss. Number 16, Victoria Pocalopsis, Chumsford, senior captain. Passing it to Madeline Dunbar, clearing it out, Caroline Pitts. Caroline running it up the field. Passing it up, Ava Balin. <clears throat> Tasia Bell running it down the field, working her way towards the net, passing. And a recovery by number nine, Alyssa Bono. Given number 30, passed up to number 20, running it up the field. Teja Bella riding her, trying to push her out, and is called. on the field. And a timeout. Timeout. Conquer timeout by Conquer Carlisle. Toss to break. Did you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. Bye. 
And we are back. Tomsford going down the field. Pass to Teja and a miss. Tomsford in hopes to score a few more goals here. Jillian Martin with the ball, pass to Caitlin Walsh. Maggie Lober taking a round shot and goal. Score is now tied five to five. Chelmsford is definitely trying to play this game well. They're hoping it for winning it. They're playing for their two teammates, Ramor Sarah and Amelia Kelly, both very valuable players on the team, both injured and out. Draws goal, one by number, number 22, two. Carly March. Tucker Carlisle working it around the 12. Number 22, Carly March. Pass to number 7, and there is a whistle blown. And the ball is given to number seven, Sarah Fortier. I believe that was an indirect play, so she could not go to that. Carly Much with the ball. Pass to number 11. And interference call on Chumsford lines. This will be a free shot by number 11, Charlotte Kelly. And she will shoot and score. Conquer Carlisle, six. Chelmsford Lions, five. We are back at the draw, and Liv Hall is taking draw now. Chelmsford hopes to win a few more draws, giving them the upper hand. And ball is picked up by number 22, Carly Much, and shot and score taken down from the draw.
and back at the draw with Olivia Hall. And it's tossed up and received by Carly Hatch. Charlotte Skelly in number 22. Number 20, Willow Sear. Passing the number 22, Carly Munch. Given over to number 7, Sarah Fortier. Passed around the 12, back to 20. Taken in and Chelmsford defense blocking them out. This will be another free shot for number twenty two, Carly Much. shooting. Tasia Bell with the check. Recovery by number seven from Concord Carlisle. Pass him around the 12. And ground ball received by 14, Ava Balin. And her hopes to work it down the field. Billen running it down the field. Ava looking for someone open and given over to number 17, Catherine Craig. Ground ball received by Olivia Hall. Over to Ava Balin. Or Grace Campbell. And that will be an interference call. Cover Carl working it down the field. Ball given to Grace Campo. Passed up to number 15, Caroline Pitts. Run up the field. Pushed out by Conquer Carlisle's Kaylee Much. And Willows here. Caroline Pitts with the ball. Ball at Tori Apokdoakis, given up to Liv Hall. and intercepted by number nine, Alyssa Bono. We are given a shot at the hash marks. Catherine Craig with the ball. Passed over to Tasia Bell. Hall with the ball, working her way around, given to Maggie Lover. 
Maggie Lober with the whip around. Amazing goal. This is a pretty close game so far. Julian Walker, Julian Martin with the draw. Ball given to Julian Martin, running it down the field. Chelsea goal scored by number two, Maggie Lober. Given over to Maggie Lober. Run in, shot, and miss. Ball received by number nine, Catherine Morin. Pass to J Olivia Hall. Pass to Joe Martin. Catherine Craig. Back to Joe Martin. Maggie Lober with the ball. Shot and, oh, close. Miss. Conquer Carl player passes it back to their, their goalie. Grace Grogan's. Call out running it down the field. Thompson players trying to push her out. <laughs> Number 21. Lida Carly with the ball. Pass and interception by Victoria Postlakis. Pass to Ava Balin. Running down the field. Pass back to Tori, given to Madeline Dunbar. Passed up and missed by Caroline Pests. Ball received by Curly Much. Given number 20. Passed around to seven. Kunker Carl trying to pass it around the 12, looking for the open player. Number seven passing it to Carly. Be an interference call. Carco Carl player at the eight for a free shot. And goal scored by number 11, Charlotte Kelly. Maggie Lober at the draw. Oh 
and received by number 22, Patriots Carly. Scored by number 11, Charlotte Skelly. Taken bound by number 21. And pushed out by number 16, Tori Postalakis. Conker Carl pushed. <laughs> working around the eight, the 12. Number seven, passing it to number 22, Carly Much. Carly Much is passed and missed. Teja Bell with the ball, tripped up, but still trying to hold on. Passed over to Tori. Ball thrown out. Julian Lanzalo with the ball. Passed and missed. And ball received by Conquer Carlisle is number nine. Passed up to number 30. Running down the field. Ball down. Toria Poxalakis with the ground ball. Running it up the field. Passes up to Kate Ready? Walsh. Julian Lanzello, Caitlin. To Catherine Craig. Maggie Lover to Caitlin Walsh. The fall to Caitlin Walsh. Behind the back to Julian Lanzello. And ground ball received by number eight, Anne Marie. Ball down, received by Anne Marie. Passed over to Caitlin Walsh. Over to Captain Tasia Bell, miss. Recovery by Julian Lanzello. Over to Caitlin Walsh. Maggie Lober with the ball. Tasia Bell trying to slow the play down. Pass to Caitlin Walsh. Ball down and recovered by number 30 for Conquer Carlisle, Kaylin Morrissey. Number two, 22, passes up. Number 20, running it down the field, down to the net, and blocked out by number 22, Reese Hughes, freshman. Conquer Carlisle working it around the 12. Number six passes it to number 21. Ground ball, fight for the ball. And it will be given to Karkin Carlisle, number 21. Lida Carly with the ball. And timeout called by, I believe, Conquer Carlisle. And we will be right back with you after the break.
We are back from the break. Conquer Kyle with the ball, passing it around. Number 20 with the ball right now. Willow Sear. Pass to number six and shot and score. That was an assist by Willow Sear and goal by number six. Eliza Mir. And we're back at the draw, back with Julie Martin. Pop up and received by number 20 from Kirk Carlo, Willow Sear. Pushed out by number 24, Captain Tajan Bell. Patriots goals going by number six, Elijah Carr. Willow's here with the ball. Trumps are making it very hard for for Conquer Carlisle to make it to the net. Martin up the field. And Marie to Caitlin Walsh. Caitlin Walsh pushing through. Passed up to Ava Balin. Saved by Conquer Carlisle's goalie, Grace Gornan.
another big save by Grace Gorgons of Punk Carlisle. Shot by Maggie Lober. One minute left in the play. Chumpsuit's gonna try to score here. And there it is, Caitlin Walsh. to win this and take it down for another goal. Less than a, less than a minute in the period. Popped up and received by Carly Much. They're going to try to hold the ball the last 20 seconds of the game. And that will be the end of the game. Conquer Carlisle 9, CHS 7. What a great year for Chelmsford Girls Lacrosse and winning the MC MVC's conference. Good luck in playoffs. Whoop whoop!